Oh lord. Good morning. I actually woke up early today. <laughs> Drove around with my mom. My mom left this morning. You'll see in this vlog that she was visiting me. And then I came back home and I went back to sleep on my couch. Which I never do. Um, especially after I take my bike dance. But I think I was really tired. I didn't sleep well the night before. I didn't sleep well last night. I don't sleep well when my mom's here. I don't know. I just used to being alone. And she like, she doesn't snore. But I just, I just like being alone. Okay? Yeah, I'm starting this vlog off here. Because I realized that I'm just so shitty at intros. Because I don't even ever know where I'm going to start and stop a new vlog. I just records shit. Wow, my hair. Fuck. Okay. We're gonna get ready really quick. This is gonna be just a few days in my life vlog. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna add in organization. This is more, more to my moving vlog. Um, my mom came to help me out a bit. All the good stuff. Okay, put sunscreen. I realized I put too much of this shit on usually. It's tinted, so it's not like it turns my face white, but I just think I like lathered on when I'm doing my get ready with me's and then I'm like, why did I do that? But this is the Bliss tinted sunscreen. I just have so much of it, so I always use it. Yesterday it was 98 degrees in Nashville and today it's 77. I just got sent this, I wanna try it. It's from Elimis, Elimis. I never heard of this brand. I'm not in like deep in this, Oh my god, skincare world, but then like when I, after I get sent it, I'll like look it up and look into it and I'm like, wait, this is like nice as fuck. And like they sent me a bunch of stuff, like a facial oil, but I'm always afraid of facial oils because you can't have oil on your eyelash extensions. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of lotion, but this feels so cooling. Oh my god, and then I, I know I'm saying that wrong because I say everything wrong. That shit feels so good. Okay, so I actually have a shit ton of stuff I'm about to do. I need to do because Walt's coming to Chrome this weekend. I'm getting my first tattoo on Saturday. I feel like I'm gonna might do that in this. I don't. Know. I'm getting my first tattoo on Saturday. I'm actually getting two. Supposedly, I chicken out every time. Not because I'm scared of needles. It's just the reason I don't do tattoos isn't because I'm like afraid of the pain. I literally have the highest pain tolerance. Like you can zap me up. You can put needles all up in me. It's the fact that I'm so indecisive and it's like I have a problem with decision making. Like same with like signing a lease. Like I just don't commit to things. I don't do things because I have the fear of making the wrong decision. I literally, if you ask me a question like this or this, please don't ever ask me that because I straight up will not answer you because I'm like. I don't know. It's gonna make my head hurt. Like I wish you never asked me because I can't pick. Can never pick things. And I have this fear of choosing the wrong thing. And I know that that's people are like, you know, just go with your gut. Everything will work out. Blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, I want to be like that, but like my brain has just never worked like that. So I always my answer to everything is like, I don't know. I don't know. I never can make the decisions, and it's really annoying. But anyways, I just go, go on a rant. My point of that was I change my perspective on the world i change like my the way i am i feel like i'm like a different person every year um this is i'm trying this charlotte tilbury flawless filter foundation um and so i just have this fear of like getting a tattoo and like not liking it literally a few months later which is exactly what's gonna happen Ooh, this is orange which i normally am this tan it's so funny because the last time i tried this foundation it was too light for me <laughs> now it's too dark it's just like the life of a spray tan like you fluctuate so much i'm gonna mix it with the lighter color but like the tattoo i'm getting is sentimental like it's something for my sister so it's not like i'll ever like not want it or not like it it's just it's still and then last year i went to go get it like we went to the tattoo place on her one year put our name down they told us to come back and then like i while we were waiting we went somewhere next door and they were calling me that like they were ready and i just got so anxious and i was like i can't go like i i just am not ready i don't want to do this and i just like got so much anxiety about the tattoo like i just literally started freaking out not because i'm scared of it but just because i'm like it's like literally permanent yeah you can get it removed but like it's permanent i don't like permanent things even marriage scares me and it's not because i want to be unfaithful it's just like permanent things are being scary but they're just like not know that it's gonna be permanent and just like it end up being permanent <laughs> You know, as I just got like permanent teeth, slay. Didn't even hesitate with those, but I don't know. I'm weird. Okay, so anyways, today I think that I'm gonna go fall shopping, even though I have a shit ton of things to do and I was gonna wait to do fall shopping until Walt gets here. But I'm like so badly trying to order stuff and I don't wanna order stuff until I see things in person. So I wanna go to Nado, which is this furniture store here in Nashville that I went to when I first moved here. It's actually where I was when I got the phone call that my sister passed and then the last time I tried to go back after that, I literally couldn't. So, and her two years literally coming up. So I really hope that that doesn't even like cross my mind and I hope I'm able to go because it's a really cute fucking store. So yeah, I want to try that. It's just, that's where my patio furniture is from. And then I want to go to Restoration Hardware because I want to get my nightstands from there. I also found some on Facebook Marketplace for cheaper that are from Restoration Hardware, some used ones. But before I get those, I want to see what they look like in person also. And so I want to go there and yeah, look at nightstands in person and dressers because that's, I need to order those. And then I want to go to Pottery Barn, CB2, Crate and Barrel. And then, oh yeah, I have like a shit ton of returns. I have to go to Whole Foods. 
which like I'm literally dreading to make a ton of returns but I might wait and do that till Walt's with me who knows who freaking knows yo maybe I should wait till he's with me to do all of this because I hate them all nah you got it girl you got it girly also I bought this like expensive ass Charlotte Tilbury like setting powder for my face like all over um can you see how small this is like am I missing something why how is this how is this gonna cover everything why is it so tiny I'm actually confused fuck I didn't do my liquid blush like what were they thinking why is this purple? This is not the shade I wanted. I live, laugh, love. I love Rare Beauty Blush. Ew, it's literally purple. It looks like, um, I just can't pull it off because it looks like it's like caked up, like bruised makeup. Ugh. It's like a plummy blush. No. Sorry, babe, not here. That's not what we're rolling with. This one's too pink. I'm literally a red blush girl and I think comp cheerleading is what did that to me. You know what? We will slay regardless. We will slay through the day and never give away. Also with this, like a little bit goes a long way. Oh my God, my brightness is so up. You guys probably haven't. I don't know, whatever. <sighs> Okay, am I actually, can someone let me know, am I, is this what it's supposed to be? Is this supposed to cover it all? My brush is fucking huge, like am I even getting product? I feel like I never do a full face makeup. This is crazy. I, it's only because I'm recording, I just ran with it. Okay, now we're gonna do my bronzer. Look at this little baby bronzer. I'm fucking thirsty. I'm about to film an unboxing, I think, before I leave though, because I have a shit ton of stuff. Oh, and I have to go to my old apartment and pick up a bunch of packages that have just been there still. I haven't changed my address to all the brands, but to some I have and then I went on USPS's website and changed my address just last night still don't have internet or Wi-Fi this is amazing it's great haven't fucking heard from Google Fiber who's the ones providing me for it and it's been a month so I booked with Xfinity but they can't come out for a week it's just it's it's all just so fun it really is it's great fantastic actually I love this for me damn it Christy my blush brush is not here oh I'm gonna use this this is Dior blush. It's giving bridal vibes. Cute. Okay, and now my highlighter that doesn't have a lid on it. Oh, I finally have a neighbor. No one's lived next to me. And she just moved in yesterday. It's a girl. I think it's just her. I haven't really had the time to talk and ask her, but that's exciting. And it's the day that I had blinds come in, so. Ooh, privacy. And my mom's been staying here and she's just like met everyone around me. I'm like, mom. Stop making so many friends. You're embarrassing me. She's like, oh my God, go introduce yourself to the people across the street. They're so nice, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> What happened to my eyebrows? I need them laminated again, but she doesn't want to do it yet until, cause I guess they can like fall out. <laughs> like that's not what she said, but I think it's just bad to laminate them a lot. But she said in October, I'll put all the products that I'm using in the description below. Have y'all been noticing that? That I'm literally like, will put all my outfits that I wore in the video and everything in the description. And if I forget, comment. Like if I forget something, like link this and I'll add it. Cause even if I'm not replying to all the YouTube comments, I really am reading them all. I do better at replying on TikTok and Instagram DMs, but I love YouTube comments. Like I have like so much more, <laughs> so much more love for you guys. <laughs> Shh, don't tell but it just means like so much to me this is like my smallest platform and it's the one i've been making like posting on the longest i guess it's just long form content isn't my thing and that's fine but it's like what i like doing so that's why i've never stopped it and so it just means a lot when people comment on here and like i recognize usernames and stuff and so it really just it really makes my day <laughs> you guys are the best okay i still need to brush my fucking teeth and i need to put lip shit on but i should probably wait till i brush my teeth but i don't think i can and I need groceries because Walt will be here tomorrow and I have nothing. I don't even have internet, poor guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, also, I didn't film it because I stopped my camera, but I set my face with the Rare Beauty Primer. I really like it. I think it makes me glowy. I fixate so much on lipsticks. I wore the same lip gloss from eighth grade until I was 24, 23. That's like a long ass time. And when I moved on, I moved on to Charlotte Tilbury and I've been using it for two years. So, Xfinity's calling me. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Let me speak to Miss T. Howard. Yes, this is she. Okay, I just filmed an unboxing and it took, uh, it's like 3 p.m. now. So it took me like an hour and a half because I edited it right after. So yeah, but I, I'm fucking freezing in my house. I know it's like so hot outside, but this is a little flannel from Zara. It's actually my friend Rachel's that I've had for two years. <laughs> my little pants. What are these? Par parachute pants, local European. And this is a Princess Polly top. It's not Revolve, aren't y'all shocked? Um, and I'm like not on my period, but when I wipe, there's like dried blood up in there. <laughs> you guys are like, cool, thanks. Like we were really wondering. Um, so it's like, I don't want to put a tampon in, but I don't wear underwear, so I can't wear a pad. I guess I have to put one in just for safety, but I really don't want to. Ugh. Waves of the sea, I'm not. 
so I've been shopping for like four hours and all I've done is bought three candles, like $80 total worth of candles. Love that for me. Okay, so I just got done shopping. Um, I'm gonna show you all my stuff back at home. Okay, I got the cutest little fall candle ever. For some reason, I thought it was like $30 and then when they rang it up, they were like, it came out with like 60. So I put on, I'm gonna find, I think that they have them at Target for cheaper. I'll link them below. Um, and I know that on Amazon, there's probably way cheaper stuff. I was honestly went shopping to like in person be able to, cause I do all my shopping online, but I wanna see what they look like in person, especially for furniture. So I knew I wasn't really gonna buy anything, but I wanted to sit in chairs. I wanted to like, you know, just see shit in person. And uh, so that's what I did. But then I was like, well, I could buy some fall decor, but like, even if I got like cute pumpkin centerpieces and stuff, like I don't even have a table to sit it on. So it's just kind of like, why, <laughs> you know? Um, I need to just like focus on using my money for like actual stuff I need. And then once that gets here, then I can like decorate. Maybe by Christmas time, I'll be able to get like super festive, but I've never really been that festive. Well, I've always just had apartments and been by myself, but I've never really like had the opportunity to be that festive. Cause I've, you know, I like always traveled back home a lot. So I wasn't even in my home that much, but like I got these little baby pumpkins on Amazon. Let me show you. And I saw so many at like all the fancy stores I were in that were just like it. And I didn't even look at the price, but I just know that they were so much in these. I mean, it's not the best quality, but like no one's picking them up. They're literally for looks. And it's so many of them. You can put them in a little jar. They're from Amazon. I'll put them below. I'm eating my like Chipotle bowls literally look like throw up when I mush it together. And I love that, you know, it gives it some character. This is what I've had for dinner, breakfast, and now lunch slash dinner again. But I think I'm going to order more food. And I have to get groceries because Walt's coming to town tomorrow. Mmm, fuck that's good. Mmm. Okay. Hi. I'm back. I'm eating this shit. I know people call it like white trash, puppy chow, Christmas crack, but it's good as fuck. I don't know who gave it to my mom. She got it from somewhere. Oh, it's called Monster Munch. They just be naming it different shit during what season it is. I love it. Mm. I also just ate that Chipotle bowl and then I ordered Taqueria Tsunami. Or what is it? Taqueria del Sol. Fried chicken taco. Trying their new salad, cheese dip, rice, salsa trio. It's the way to go, baby. Mm. Okay, I'm talking to my vlog for a sec. So I got Taqueria del Sol. I always mix it up. And I got, I've got their new salad. You can't even see me, it's so dark. Oh, there we go. Whee! Empty in there still. Hey now, not tomorrow. Okay, now I can really see to dissect. But there's roasted chicken. This is like one of their new salads. It's like, look how thinly sliced that chicken is. I don't know, I've never eaten chicken like that. It's kind of giving me like some- Wait, what? Yeah. You sure that's a chicken? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like see-through. What? Okay, they gave me two sides of dressing. Oh, like shake it? Like that? You watch ABC? No, I watch ESPN. Oh, okay. Oh, there's like t roasted peppers in here. Should I put this sauce in it too? I'll try that one first. That one doesn't look very good. Oh, it's I, just, I don't it, know what peanut sauce is. No, it's gas. Wait, did I tell you I had Diablos for lunch already? Yeah, but have you ever had it? Yeah, I've had it once or twice now. It was good. <sighs> that was my daily gym workout. Daily. Monthly. Yearly. <gasps> yeah, that's not the same as a big, nice fried chicken taco. Well, I have that too. That's the healthiest. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, just to show y'all some updates to the house. So this, I'm just renting, so it might be dumb to do this, but I just like am so set on wanting my privacy because I've done it before where since I was renting, I just like didn't care to do it. And then I bought like Amazon stick on things that like this just, I just need to do this. So I got custom blinds done on all these little random windows that I didn't know what to do. And they're coming tomorrow to do the front door. Sorry, excuse the mess. I had my dining table come, but just, just wait. Here it is, literally blocking my doorway because they came and they were like, we've never seen anything like this before. It's literally nailed shut like a coffin and we don't have the tools to open it. We don't know what to do, but we're gonna leave it here and then we'll call you back and we'll bring someone out here with the tools. And in that moment, I knew 
they're not calling me back. They're dropping this off and they're leaving. And I paid for in-home assembly. Like I paid extra to, for them not to, to drop it off, but to like open it and build it. The guy was super nice, like very nice for like, I wanted to be his friend, but it's just so weird and it's annoying. And so I went on Amazon and I bought a crowbar like the badass I am and I opened it very easily by myself. But then I opened it and I realized it's a literal slab of concrete. Like my table is actual concrete and I can't lift it. I can't even move it. It's like 200 pounds. It, it actually is. But I also noticed that there's no legs on it. So even if I did hire someone, even though I paid whatever, um, to come set it up for me, they didn't ship the legs for it, which is annoying. So now it's literally just sitting here blocking my doorway. That is something I need, that is a furniture piece I need to be hung up. That's my little do door I bought. I mean, my bar I bought on Amazon. I'll link it below for privacy purposes. It's supposed to be up against the door. But yeah, so someone's coming tomorrow to put blinds on my front door so that that will be covered. And then this is just here until they fucking come back, which, which I know they won't. And it's really annoying because my runner rug that I got finally came. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's open that because I might buy the big version for my office and next week, Oh, I'm so excited next week my office desk we're gonna be doing my office Which is gonna be like my main room because that's gonna be where I'm gonna film all my videos It's gonna be what y'all see the most on TikTok. So I'm like really excited about it But it's the thing that like okay, so I've ordered nightstands and I've ordered a dresser Um, the dresser is gonna take a while because it's being like self-made like it's only made for I don't know It's what is it not self-made? What's it called custom made? Oh my god. I'm so dumb. So yeah, it's things are slowly coming along But oh my god, there's like eh actual little olives on here. Somebody asked me a really stupid question that made me laugh about my olive tree and I can't think of what it was. But it was something that I was like, no, what the fuck? And I thought they were kidding, but they weren't kidding. It was, God, what was it? I don't know, what was the point of me even telling you? I don't remember. But right now I've wiped, I'm doing my best to like try and constantly keep my kitchen clean. So I've wiped up all the counters. I've got a load of whatever going. I break down my boxes and I used to have my apartment. I had every single morning, there was somebody that came by and took all the cardboard boxes. So all I had to do was break down my boxes, open my door and sit them outside of it. And I would have millions, like everyone on my floor definitely hated me, but I didn't have to like do anything. All I had to do was break my boxes down and sit them outside my door. And now I have a recycle thing, but I fill that up in like a day going through my boxes. And I think it's, I'm not even trying to say like, I get so much sent to me. It's because I'm moving right now. And so I'm ordering a ton, but also, um, yeah, I don't do very much in-person shopping. So it's all online. I never break out. And of course, I pick at this and it's always, if I do break out, it's on my chin. Do y'all see how ADD I am? Like I talk about one thing and then I go on to something else and I can't think. What were you talking about? Hey. Oh yeah, here's the crowbar that I bought. I didn't even know what a crowbar was to be honest. They were like, do you have a crowbar? I was like, do you think I'm a murderer? And they didn't think that was funny. And then I realized maybe a crowbar is something that every, like it's not that weird to have. So maybe I just made a really bad joke, which I think I did. But wait, let me, guys, let me show you guys some other updates. <laughs> This is this little cutie thing I got on Amazon. I will link it below and you put like soaps and stuff on it. Um, that vase, Walt got me these flowers and they're still going strong, I don't know how. This vase is from my old apartment, I've had it. I think it's CB2, I'll link it. Um, I just got the ears. By the way guys, I update my Amazon storefront like literally every day because I'm shopping every day. This is um, a three thing hamper, which I really need because I'm obsessed with separating my stuff. Like people make fun of me how much I separate things. I don't think, I, all I do is delicates regulars, whites, towels, bedding. Like, aren't those all, aren't you supposed to set, like separate those categories? That's all I do, I think. Unless I have like a load that's like, y'all know I, wear, I have a lot of tie-dye like sweats, so like sometimes I'll do a load of just strictly tie-dyes. I don't know, I feel like that's not that bad. But I forgot what I was talking to y'all about. I'm just like walking around and pacing around in circles. I have so much shit to do. Ugh! I have so much shit to do, upstairs is a mess. But yeah, I just wanna update you on those little house updates. I might be ending the vlog off right here. Um, I already have like a whole other, there's a lot more I could have put in this video, but I'm separating it into two videos just because I don't have time to edit the rest of it. Um, I'm gonna be at the Auburn Georgia game this weekend. I guess if you're watching this, I would have been there yesterday. So against my will, cause I really do not like sports, but my family loves sports. My dad has season tickets and I agreed to go to one game and Walt picked this one. So I'm gonna go and I think I'm doing sober October, but also like I hate sports so much. I literally might die of boredom, but then I don't wanna drink because then when I drink, I'm gonna have to sit there and watch football and I can't sit still. I'm gonna be very antsy cause I'm gonna wanna run around and be free. 
we'll see stay tuned i have a feeling i'm not gonna drink yeah, but I hope you guys like this vlog. Sorry if it was stupid. Um, I really am slowly getting a lot of home stuff and I feel like within the next month, not even month, within the next few vlogs, a lot will come together and I always link everything below and if I don't, comment and I will add it for you um, and do my best. So, really hope you guys liked it. I'm excited for you to see the house. I have a raging headache right now. Ah! It's like one in the morning. I have the blinds guy coming at 10 a.m. I slept four hours. Okay, anyways, love you beaches. My merch is, I just got the pictures back, so I don't know if it's live yet. I don't know, I'll tell you. Okay, love you. Bye. No. Okay. Uh, we can start process your request, man. Okay, I went online and I made um, an appointment for next week, but then I've been having trouble every time I try and log into my account or do anything. Uh -huh. it, it doesn't let me. It says like loading error, refresh again, all this stuff. Uh, yes, ma'am. That is uh, that is also, ma'am, the, the complaint of some of the customers that they are doing online. However, they are uh, instructed to call over the phone to continue the process. Okay, so, so um, we can now, um, as of now, man, you're doing, uh, doing it online. Well, I thought that I had went ahead and I thought I had one booked for next Thursday for uh -huh. someone to come and install, but I don't, I can't find any confirmation of it. Uh, yes, 